Okay, we want to make a quick video about how to make ghee. So Ella's here, help me today. Um, ghee is clarified butter. So that's butter that has been cooked down and all the milk solids in the butter basically fall to the bottom, they sink to the bottom, and then you strain it through a strainer and you have clarified butter. So why would people want to have clarified butter over regular butter? Well, one, if you have any sensitivities to dairy, any allergies to casein, then all those milk proteins actually get get cooked out of the butter and it's just the milk fat which is great for you you get essential fatty acids you get vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k2 so it's a really great thing and it tastes so good and it's great for you to add to all your vegetables it's an easy way to make your vegetables taste really good so i just want to show you what this is this final process what it looks like because um, it's it would be too long to videotape the whole thing so so you kind of know because the first few times I did it I wasn't sure if this is the point where I strain it or not and I could actually cook this more and it would do it even more but I cooked it I turned it off I let it cool a little bit and they even sink more to the bottom so I use Kerrygold butter you always want to use organic butter because any antibiotics hormones anything that they've given the cow will get into the butter so for sure use organic no matter what and then after a step even beyond that if you can do it is to get pastured butter and we use Kerrygold butter from I just buy it from Costco they have it now at our Costco and um, they don't have it at all Costco's yet but it's coming I think and if you request it you'll probably get it there Trader Joe's also has it for a pretty good price and you'll find it at most of your Whole Foods Sprouts Whole Foods all those kind of stores but the best price is at Costco if you have one so I do a lot at a time I did probably six different things of it so I just want to show you what it looks like if you can kind of see. So as I as I pour it out and strain it in this, um, you'll see that there's kind of this white stuff in the bottom that falls, and it will even go a dark am I spilling it? a dark color um, once you do it. So Ella, why don't you hold this up for me? Hold this up so they can kind of see. So I just have the jar that I'm in a glass jar that I'm gonna carry this in when I'm done. I'm just gonna keep it in the fridge, and I just pour this butter that has basically the milk solids have just been cooked out of it and that's when it's called ghee. Now if these all went through, like so all this white stuff at the end is the milk solids and if I would keep cooking that then those would actually even get a dark color and they'll kind of get like a dark brown. So I could cook it even more but I got it thick enough and summer at the bottom that it won't strain through. So this little extra that's left there are all the milk proteins. So now if I show you down here you can see that that is just pure butter and that's ghee and it's way cheaper to make than it is to buy you can buy ghee already done but it's cheaper to make and it's really easy to use and and I think it's a different flavor than butter but if you like um, it's kind of like a browned butter so it's a really rich flavor and it's a great thing to get in your diet every day which is funny because back in the day we would have thought butter was just you know, no fat, low fat, everything. And that's where I think we all went wrong. So anyways, I hope this helps just to show you what it looks like. And I'll also post another recipe again to make it really easy. Just cook down your butter and that's it. Okay, thanks. Bye. What do you say, Ella? Bye.